Here we are again, ready for episode number two of our mini series. How do you like that name? What we're going to do right now is look at switch mode and show some examples of what the different settings do. Here we go. Time to start exploring switch mode. First thing I need to do is finish setting up this new Sonoff by setting it up to use a switch on GPIO 14. To do that, I go to configuration, configure module, GPIO 14, switch one. Save it. Now we're going to go to the console. On the left, you see I've got all of the switch modes available. First thing we'll do is we'll type in switch mode to see which switch mode we're on. And that tells us that the current value of switch mode is zero. You can see that switch mode zero just means toggle. So that means if I touch this, the relay toggles. That is, it turns into the other state. Okay, so that's what switch mode zero does. I should have done this before. Switch mode one will tell us what the switch mode is for relay number one, and it's zero. If I want to change the switch mode for relay number one, I will type switch mode one and then the number that corresponds to the switch mode action that I want. You can see the list there. There are seven different switch modes. This time we'll do switch mode one. Well, switch number one, which controls relay number one, is set to switch mode number one. This is set to follow. When I touch the button, the relay will go on. When I touch the button, the relay will go off. So switch mode two now, switch mode one, two. That's gonna be inverted follow, meaning when the switch is on, the relay is off. Right now my switch is on, that's why it's lit. Now the relay is on, the switch is off. This is how I like to do my light switches, because this way the light on the LED on the switch is on when the lights are off, and it makes it really cool. You can see it you know, in the, in the dark, it's kind of kind of fun. Okay, so that's inverted follow. Switch mode number three. Switch mode number three is what you use if you're doing a push button. I better get a push button. Now I've got a momentary button on there. And we're gonna look at switch mode three and four. Okay, now switch mode three is active. When you push the button, toggles the relay. When you look at the state of the switch, you type in status 10, it tells you the state of the switch. In this case, switch one is on. Okay. Toggle the relay so that the relay is on. But then when you're in the normal position, status 10, the switch is on. Let's see how that's different with switch mode four. Functionally, it looks the same. Push the button and the relay toggles. The difference is when you type status 10 and you see the state of switch one, now it's off. Regardless of which state the relay is in, when you're not touching the switch, it's off. The switch that is. If I hold it down, it's on. See what I mean? With switch mode three, we'll go back to switch mode one three for a second. Right now, we do the status and it tells us that the switch is on. If I hold it down, the switch is off. So that's the difference between switch mode three and switch mode four. Now let's talk about switch mode five and six. Essentially, switch mode five and six are the same as switch mode three and four. You'll use them if you have a momentary switch, like a push button. The difference is switch mode five and six use a hold function. That means when you hold the button down, Tasmoda will publish a new command, and you can use that command to trigger an automation or some other function in Home Assistant. But to get that hold function to work, we need to talk about switch topic. Switch topic is a command that has three possible modes, zero, one, and two. The default is zero. With switch topic set to zero, when the state of the switch changes, that is when you push the button or flip the switch, 
it changes the state of the relay and you get an MQTT message that says, hey, the relay state changed, but it doesn't send a command, just the state. Let me show you how this works. First, we set switch mode one to five. So by default, with switch topic set to zero, when we push the button, we get a new MQTT message that gives us the state of the relay. It says state Sonoff power on. We can push the button again and turn it off and we get that state message again. Now, if we change the switch topic to one by typing switch topic one, it will now send an MQTT command that will go to our broker and then back to our Sonoff to trigger the relay. And we see that happen when we activate the switch. Watch the console. We push the button. And now you'll see we have two different messages. We have a command Sonoff power one on. That's the command to tell relay one to turn on. And then we also see the state message that we've seen before. Same thing when we turn it off. There's a command message to turn it off. And once it's off, there's a state message that says it's off. The reason that's important is that to get the hold function to work, you need to publish the hold command. If the switch topic is set to zero, it won't publish the hold command. Let me show you. Let's set the switch topic back to zero. By default, you need to hold the button for four seconds for it to activate. In this case, I could hold it till I'm blue in the face and it will never activate. Now we change the switch topic back to one. And now when we hold the button for four seconds, watch what happens. There you go. You see that line that says command Sonoff power one hold. That's the command that gets sent when you hold the button. You can then take that command and use it in Home Assistant to activate some other function. Our good buddy Rob from The Hookup talked about this in a video he did in his house. Rob uses that hold command on one switch to turn off all the lights. That's cool. If you wanted to change the time that's required to hold the button in order to get the hold command to publish, you use set option 32. By default, set option 32 is set to 40. That's tenths of a second. If I wanted it shorter, set option 32, 15. Now it's one and a half seconds. After one and a half seconds, we get the hold command published. Pretty cool. Besides that, switch mode five is just like switch mode three in that the relay state follows the switch state. And switch mode six is just like switch mode four because the relay is inverted follow relative to the switch. Switch mode seven is pretty unique. This is how it looks functionally. If you want it to stay on, you have to hold it down. But as soon as you let it off, it goes off. So there you have it, switch mode in Tasmoda. Hope that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Till next time, adios.